hey y'all welcome back to my channel today we're gonna be making some what cheesy chicken pot pie lasagna honey this is so good it's so perfect for all this fall weather that we are getting honey don't turn into a thottom over there this time okay make sure you stay safe and sanctified like me all right listen y'all so we're gonna start with using my medium-sized cast iron skillet which i like to call pam hey girl okay i have preheated my oven to 350 degrees i'm gonna be using some chicken breast in here because i like chicken breasts for this particular uh recipe but honey, if you want to use a little thigh or leg honey it's up to you we're gonna take our chicken breast that we wash and clean okay don't play put them in pam over there and then i'm gonna season it with my favorite chicken seasoning or seasoning whatever i use this on everything child okay and that is the nord chicken bouillon honey i love this stuff make it all good and sopped up and good okay so i'm putting some garlic powder on there a little bit of my bouillon powder i'm gonna put some black pepper on there we ain't gonna over season it too much because we got a sauce that's gonna be going in the creases and the crevices of this lasagna okay so make sure you over there gagging, honey, have high blood pressure. Won't blame that on me. So just make sure you season it good, okay? Season both sides because we what? We eat both sides. You got it today, class. Give yourself a hand, okay? We're going to place this in a 350-degree oven for about 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes. Make sure you check on it, honey. You don't want to be too dry, honey, okay? That won't be sopped up. Now, while our uh, chicken is cooking, we're going to go ahead and we'll start on our sauce. Real easy, simple to make. So I'm going to use some salted butter. Okay, because, you know, I ain't got time for stuff not to be seasoned. Okay, I'm going to use some salted butter. Then I'm going to use some frozen onions. Now, all of the veggies that I'm using in this particular recipe today, y'all, can be fro uh, found on your frozen food aisle. Okay, for $1. So I'm going to use some frozen onions. If you want to add some frozen celery, bell pepper to that, you can do that. But, honey, I didn't have that up in my freezer. I use what I got to get what I want. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to be using some frozen peas and carrots stalling, okay? Because you can't have chicken pot pie without your peas and carrots. So we're going to use those in our recipe on today, okay? So I'm going to add all of that to our butter, okay? And I'm just going to stir it around and make sure it's getting nice and sopped up in that butter, okay? See, it's glistening like that. Now you want to add your flour to that, okay? So we're just going to coat our flour, I'm sorry, coat our veggies with the flour. And you know, all the ingredients will be in the description box below. Okay, so just check the link and all that stuff. Uh, everything you need will be in the description box, y'all. Y'all know how we do it over here, okay? So I'm gonna stir that around, okay? So that our veggies get nice and um, buttery and get that flour uh, coated on there just like that. So you wanna stir it for a couple seconds or so, maybe about 25, 30 seconds to make sure everything gets nice and coated. Okay, once that happens, baby, you're gonna add in your half and half. Okay, I'm gonna add a little half and half, and I'm also gonna add a little chicken stock don't know where that clip went i got to stop drinking wine and stuff while i'm recording y'all because I, I be missing stuff but that's okay the, the recipe is good okay check the links in the description box it's gonna be add our cream and a little bit of chicken stock we're gonna bring that to a boil this is over medium high heat so we're gonna boil it for about five minutes or so and when it coats the back of a spoon just like that then you know the sauce is ready when you swipe your hand across there and then do that it's ready now we're gonna add our favorite thing to this honey our cheese okay cheese me baby <laughs> we're gonna add all of our cheese i'm gonna add some provolone honestly y'all let me tell y'all what i did okay because you know i'm straight from the hood okay we improvise i am going to use that mixed cheese that they have in the store okay so i got some italian cheese blend i got some monterey jack blend some Kobe jack blend whatever cheese you want to use if you want to just use straight cheddar it's totally up to you baby this is your lasagna this is your recipe do whatever you want to do don't let nobody stop you from doing what you want to do so i added all my cheese to that and then we are just going to stir that around and now what we're going to do class okay we're going to season it don't need it tasting like a hot cup of water. People in the group chat going to talk about you. You know that. So I'm just going to season it with a little bit of that bouillon that I had and my black pepper and my garlic powder. Okay. You don't really have to use a lot of salt in this because the cheese has a lot of salt in it. And also that bouillon can have can be salty too. So just make sure you taste as you go. Okay. So add your seasonings. I'm going to list in the description box the measurements. But honey, don't nobody really go by no measurements when they season their food, okay? Okay, listen. Just taste and go. Add a little bit more. Add a little bit at a time. And then taste. And then add a little bit more. And this is what the cheese sauce looks like once it's seasoned and looking good and creamy, okay? Now, we're going to set that to the side. And we're going to pull our chicken out. I've let my chicken sit for about 10 minutes. Don't want to cut right into it because it's going to be running like Jack and Johnny Coach. So honey, we won't need that chicken to be dry. Okay, so just let it sit for just like that 
And I'm going to use my favorite knife by Chrissy Teigen. Hey, Chris, girl, I love your stuff over there at Target. I'm going to cut this chicken up. Now, you can shred the chicken if you want to, but I actually like chunks of chicken in this, okay? Because I want to taste that chicken in my veins, going down my stomach, make esophagus hit my stomach, rather. I should have said it that way. Anyway, so now we're going to layer our lasagna. So I'm going to put the cheese sauce down first. I'm using a 9 by 13 pan, and I'm also going to be using some oven-ready lasagna sheets that we do not have to boil because, baby, we ain't got time. Okay, so I'm going to be using my oven-ready lasagna sheets. So I'm putting them down on top of the sauce, and we're going to just layer this just like any other lasagna, y'all. So I'm putting my sauce down, then we're going to put our pasta sheets down, then we're going to put some our cheese sauce down that had those veggies up in there, okay? And then what we do, we're going to spread it all, get all them corners, okay? Just like you snatch them edges, okay? Them lace fronts. And put it in that ponytail. Y'all know how y'all do out there, lady. Slatch them edges with that sauce, okay? Then we're going to put some chicken down. Now, make sure that you are kind of, you know, um, not using all your ingredients at one time. I did about four layers here. So, but if you want to do two layers, it's totally up to you. I did four layers. So, I'm going to actually add now some mozzarella cheese in between the layers. Don't know why I'm adding the mozzarella. I'm adding it for the stringy effect. To me, mozzarella really don't taste like a whole lot of nothing. What's, is it just me? I don't know. But anyway, I like the stringiness and the cheesy effect that it gives the stuff in between the layers. OK, so I added my mozzarella cheese on top of there. Then I added the pasta sheets again. We're just going to repeat the layers. So you're going to add after you add your cheese, put your pasta sheets down and then we're going to add our cheese sauce with our veggies in there. And then we're just going to make sure we spread it all across the board. OK, spread it from left to right, okay? And if those pasta sheets kind of turn on you, twist them back around, okay? Snatch them like you have to do your child sometime in the stove when they ask for all that candy. Get over here, okay? Then you're gonna put your chicken down just like that right there. And like I said, make sure that you kind of spread your ingredients out, guys, okay? Don't use all your chicken at one time on the first layer, okay? So make sure you just, I'm, I'm probably using maybe a cup of chicken at a time, baby, but I don't know about that cheese sauce. Now, I'm just mid, I'm just eyeballing it. However much cheese sauce you want to use, it's totally up to you. Then you're going to add your cheese in between the layers, however much cheese you want to use, okay? And then we're going to repeat the steps again, put that luscious, creamy cheese sauce back on top. OK, just like that. And our chicken and our cheese. Then now we're at the end. We're going to top this whole thing with a pie crust. Yes, honey, we can't have chicken pie pie without the pie crust. I'm going to be using the two pie crusts that come in the box that you can have that you have to roll out. Don't get the frozen pie crust that already come prepared. Don't do that. OK, get this one right here. It's about you get two pie crusts for less than two dollars. OK, it's going to be found over by the butter section where all the canned cinnamon rolls and biscuits are. OK, so you're going to put that on top and then you're just going to tuck the sides down into the pan just like I'm doing. I'm going to now add the other pie crust. It comes two in a box. Remember, I said two in a box. And then we're going to add that on top. So we're using both pie crusts for our I think this is a nine by 13 pan, guys. OK. I want to put them on top and just want to press it down in there just like that. OK, make sure you get the uh, crust down up in the uh, over the edges of the um, tuck them down the edges of the uh, the pan, just like I just did. See that I sprayed it with a little bit of Pam on top. OK, and you could put a little bit of butter, melted butter on top if you want to just to get it golden brown. Totally up to you. Going to put this in the oven for 55 minutes or 50 minutes. I'm sorry, on 375 degrees. And then it comes out looking just like this. Once you bake it for 50 minutes uncovered for th um, 300, 375 degrees, okay, you want to take it out and it's going to sit for about 10 to 15 minutes. You don't want to cut right into 100 because baby's going to be running like Jack and Jenna Cursey for her life. Don't do that, okay? It's going to run everywhere. It's going to be a disaster. And all your little hard work you done put in, honey, it's going to be a waste. Don't do that. Let it sit for about 10 to 15 minutes, okay? And then once you let it sit, you can cut into it and look at what we got here. Ooh, ooh, woo! Look at that cheese, y'all, all sopped up up in there, baby, and that pie crust. And no, look at that pasta that you see. Ooh, baby, this is so good. Listen, y'all, I can't wait to make another recipe for y'all. But listen, we are at 300,000 subscribers. Oh, wait, hold on. I got to let y'all see this. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Listen, y'all, we are always at 300,000 subscribers. And for that, I just want to say thank you guys so much. I love sharing recipes with you all. It makes my day. And don't forget that because we are 300,000 subscribers, I have all of my digital books on sale for 30% off. 
all of them. You can check out my weight loss book, learn how I lost over 120 pounds, eating food like this, and you can also grab my Hey What's Place Juke Joint Comfort Food book. Yes, honey. And you can also grab my Bread, Butter, and Wine book if you want to, and my dessert book. All of that is on my website, and you can check the link in the description box below for all details, all ingredients for this particular recipe, and I can't wait to share more with you guys. Thank y'all so much for all your love and support, honey. I don't deserve it, but God is good. Amen. Talk to y'all later. Bye.